Hey there, I'm going to show you some chord magic. Watch this. How is that possible? I'm pressing one finger on one key and it's playing chords of all sorts. Look. Wow. You might think it's a chord plugin. Let's have a look. Nope, there's no chord plugin. And it's not the Korg M1 plugin that has nothing to do with it. So, what is this magic? Uh -huh. Let me show you. Let's head over to the browser. As you can see here, I'm on a web page called Instacord. This is my web page. I made this. I made this application. And what this allows you to do is effortlessly play complex chord progressions. Let me just show you on this page while you're on here. As I'm pressing the keys, notice where it says pick a chord for C3. It changes, watch. So what I can do is press any key on the keyboard. There you go, F2. And change that to any chord I like from the list here. See? If I go down and select a major 13th, for example. Uh, let me find it. Well, major 9th. You can see in the door, it's actually playing a major ninth. See? So, you'd like to set this up, wouldn't you? Okay, let me show you how. I'm going to show you how to do this on OS X. You're going to need to create a virtual MIDI device. I don't know how to do it on Windows, but if anybody else does know how to do it, please leave a comment below and I'll link to the, to the content or whatever else. Um, I don't use Windows, so uh, I can't help you there. But for OSX users, you want to head over to a, uh, audio MIDI settings. So audio MIDI setup. Okay. Select the IAC driver, double click, and you want to press the plus button to add uh, an IAC bus. I've already added one here. Mine's an IAC bus one. If you add one, it's going to add another IAC bus. There you go. A make sure device is online is pressed. Okay. And then apply. In your door, if you head over to here, you need to go to preferences and just make sure that in the MIDI settings here that your IAC driver is is to, is uh, on. There you go. See? And now, when you head back over to the actual web page, you should select your refresh, select your input. Um, there's a little bug here. You're gonna you're gonna have to if if when you refresh the page, your MIDI device is already connected, like mine is. You're gonna have to just press a random one and then press back on it again. But there's a little bug where if you refresh the page, watch, there's no MIDI input. But if I just go back and forward. There you go, it works. Now for MIDI output, just select the IAC driver bus 1. And then when you go through to Ableton, uh, so select, sorry, select the chord, and it'll go straight through to Ableton. Look. Another one. Uh, one second. So, yeah, I mean... I'm still working on this plugin. This is very early days. Uh, I'm much looking forward to feedback from users and things you want to see in this plugin. It is very early days. It does only work in Chrome, I'm afraid, because Chrome's the only browser that currently implements uh, the web MIDI API. So um, yeah, I hope this is useful to you. Let me know in the comments what you think, uh, suggestions, feedback, uh, and if your suggestion is good enough, I will definitely implement it in the next release. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, remember to share with your friends as well. Uh, get the word out. This tool will definitely help you play amazing chord progressions. So, yeah, thank you for watching.